Welcome at everybody to another video chat, social distancing, fuck the coronavirus, basement brew review video. I'm joined by my three favorites, Tyler, Alex, and Justin. And we're going to be reviewing some beers tonight. And uh, let's start drinking. So since I intro, I'll go first. I am drinking even more pecan pie Jesus. It's Evil Twin Brewing. And we've talked about them before. I think we had even more Jesus uh, on a video before. And it's Evil Twin Brewing. And they kind of go around uh, different breweries and brew uh, the beers. And this one, obviously, you can tell it's got a pecan extract. Uh, and it's brewed with molasses. So let's see how it is. Yeah, that's tasty. Good. Oh, yeah. That's really, really good. Well, I it's always like it. Yeah, it's I've always style. liked it. I've liked it. And I like the pecan and the, the, the regular one. Too. Yeah. I, Man, anything I from that, this. even more Jesus series, has always yeah. been really good. Yeah. yeah. I, haven't, I haven't had that. I've had, you know, Jesus, even more Jesus, a couple of variations, but the pecan pie one I have not had before. Oh, it's amazing. You know, I mean, if you're a fan of pecans, I mean, obviously. Pe pecans? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did pecans come from? As, as we see it here in the South, the pecan pie beers. <laughs> pecan pie beers. So does it taste like pecan pie? Is it, it overly? No, it I mean, no, it's not really sweet. I mean, the molasses gives it a little bit of sweetness, but no, you can definitely tell it's twelve percent alcohol. Okay. So no, it, it's. Uh, I like it. it. It's a good harsh. It's what a stout should be. You can okay. taste the alcohol. You get a little bit of sweetness. It's a good combination. I'd give it a definitely a four and a half. Ooh, Easy. That's that's a big. Easy. That's a big score. Yeah. Huh. Okay. It, it, this one is a lot easier to drink than even more Jesus. Even more Jesus. You guys have had it. It hits you really hard. Yeah. It's got a lot of alcohol in it. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see Jesus. Yes. <laughs> you see Jesus. Drink a four pack. See Jesus. Is that yeah. the the slogan? That's, that's yes. About right. <laughs> yeah, it's about right. You want to go next, Alex? They were selling it. They were selling it like singles. It was weird. It total why they were selling it singles. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, cool. yeah. I'll go next. Um, so I wanted to go uh, go to Variant and get uh, was the, the Grandma Mocha. Is that what I said I was going to get? Unfortunately, work schedule this week didn't allow for that because um, all the breweries are doing um, you know limited hours to, to get there, and I had to work late most of the week, so unfortunately I couldn't make it. Um, but I did make it to um, Crab Apple Bottle Shop. Uh, and I found this sitting on the bottom. I'd never seen this before. This is Dry County's Bone Music. Hmm. And I looked it up on their website. It's a 2019, apparently. And they show it in bottles on the website. But I got a four-pack, 16-ounce can. Uh, it's 11.1% uh, Russian Imperial, aged uh, with vanilla beans and uh, Woodford barrels. Uh, and Woodford, uh, I'm going to sound like a bit of a... Uh, bourbon pansy on this one but I, I like woodford because when i fly i get a i get a woodford and coke uh you know when i get my free drink so, so yeah i know <laughs> most, most of the people out there that are bourbon drinkers they're like you don't make bourbon with anything but it's woodford I got it. it's, it's your it's your delta cocktail it's my delta cocktail that's right so <laughs> cheers 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 i I'll have to confess, I had one of these uh, Wednesday night, the day I got it. I threw it in the freezer to chill it a little bit. And it was just, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to, uh, to drink it tonight, because it is, it, to me, it is fantastic. I mean, I get, I can get the, definitely get the barrel age of the Woodford. And I feel like I can tell it's Woodford just by, you know, like I said, I, I drink it a fair amount when I fly Delta. Um, I think also you get a little bit of the vanilla, not, not too much. Um, and it kind of finishes, I don't know, a little, a little woody to me um, at, at the end. So, I mean, the initial hit of flavor is very good. A lot of, a lot of the bourbon flavor, but then the finish is a little woody. Not too much of a fan of that. But like I said, I, I think it's a great beer. I really like it. I'm glad I stumbled across it. Sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah, it's really good. I'm really disappointed. I haven't seen that yet. Well, it seems Dry County is right down the road from most of us. Um, I've only been there maybe once or twice. So I probably yeah. should make time to go back again. Um, you start getting inundated with all of these breweries that are local to us. And some of these other ones are kind of, they fall off the radar a little bit. So I think we 
us and listeners should probably venture out some of these local breweries, support them, um, especially if they've got big beers. So that's, that's not a, a, hey, I'm just starting a brewing beer. That's That takes some time, some effort, and some energy to put yeah. into it. Um, so I'm glad you're able to find it. And if you're able to have, have a chance to try their, their Irish Car Bomb Stout, that's another really good one I like. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. When that came out right before uh, St. Patrick's Day and all this kind of went down. Yeah. And it is... It doesn't quite taste exactly like an Irish car bomb, but it is close enough to get the job done. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Who's up next? What's your uh, score? Yeah, I get a score. Oh, what, oh, I, oh, did you score yours, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear. What was yours? Uh, four and a half. Okay. I was going to give this probably a four seven. There you go. I'll go next. I have from Hubbard's Cave. Up in uh, this is the second one I've done up from up in uh, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, the chocolate and banana pot de creme. Um, it is a imperial stout with chocolate, banana, vanilla beans, and lactose. Twelve point zero percent alcohol I, by volume. I am super excited to hear what you think about this so because my, I've had it last yeah. week. So my first take on it was popped it open poured into the glass before we started sitting down and this review. It smells like chocolate and bananas and just delicious, just before I even touch my lips. Drinking this thing, it's got a great color. It's nice and frothy, not an overly head, nice, the head that is there, nice and um, light brown. It tastes like a banana split in a glass. It is delicious. It's got chocolate. It's got that nice banana without it being overpowering. It almost can taste the cream, almost like some ice cream is there. It is delicious. It is really, really good. So, Tyler, you dropped this off, and I thank you for that. This is fantastic. Yeah. That's that really good. Is a dessert in a glass, if there's really ever good. been one. Yeah, it is really. I mean, it is spot on. If you had dropped a cherry in this, Marchino cherry or some juice, it would be a banana split in a glass. No, it doesn't taste too boozy. A little bit of alcohol you can taste to it, but not too boozy. It's a fantastic. It's on that, like Tyler said, on that cusp of dessert stout. So it is really good. I'm going to buy more of this as long as they have some more because it is fantastic. Um, I'm going to score this a 4.7. It is really good. Really, really good. Tonight is so, a night of good scores. Yeah, it's probably yeah, my favorite. We're all drinking our good beer tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably my favorite uh, breakfast Imperial Stouts I've had in a while. It is good. Nice. Well, I guess that leaves me up next. Um, this is a beer that I have, I was turned on to by Alex, uh, the actual series in the brewery. And my local liquor store just happened to have it whenever Alex came back talking about it. Georgia Liquor Barn has these in stock and they are not cheap. It is a 20 to $30 bottle of beer. And in my opinion, you can go pick one of these bad boys up off a shelf and you have a amazing barrel-aged beer anytime, every time. Wow. So 50-50 yeah. Brewing, Eclipse Series, the Sapphire Blue Wax means it's <laughs> apple brandy. Um, and just a real quick sip and talk about it. Because I've seen those beers on shelf and they have to have the chart because all the different varieties with the wax uh -huh. yeah. you to kind of wow. pick out what you want. Um, it tastes boozy. It tastes like apple brandy. It's thick like a good imperial stout. Uh, so you get the stout taste. You get the booze. You get the apple brandy. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. They're expensive, but if more people yeah. knew what they were, I think they wouldn't sit on shelves. Yeah, you want to talk about expensive. You don't want to know how much I paid to have that in a restaurant in Vegas. <laughs> I'm guessing it, it was had to a be at least 50, forty-five bucks, fifty-dollar bottle in Vegas. And I think it was closer to seventy. But you made yeah. it all back at the craps table, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I didn't lose it at the craps table, so I felt like a winner. <laughs> um, funny side note: whenever we were talking about beers we were going to have this week, I said I'm going to have a beer from Nofo Brewing. Um, I had gone there last week and picked up a bunch of crowlers. The beer I was going to have is one that I reviewed two weeks ago because I liked it that much. <laughs> um, 
But this beer is a 4-6 all day, every day. Anything in the series, I haven't had anything bad. 4-6, reliable, nice. good yeah. beer. Very high score. I had their, their salted pretzel one, caramel salted pretzel, yep. I think. That was really good. Really good. So, yeah, I was, really good. I was saving this for a group review. Mm-hmm. And, well, yeah, we happened? can't. So, <laughs> I guess I got to go buy another one now. Dang it. <laughs> oh, well. Darn. <laughs> Not to, tonight with some very high reviews. Yeah, it yeah, really was. You know, well, it's been a long week. These, these weeks, they tend to seem like they're flowing by fast. But they also seem like they're taking forever because so much happens during the course of the week yeah. what's going on. Yeah. You sit back on yeah. Friday, and you're like, oh, God, how did we get here? So I think we're all – I'm looking forward to sit down with a good beer, do it for reviews with you guys. After the so I'm picking good beer out of the fridge now, so I expect our scores yep. to continue to be high unless we uh, find something that, you know, stuck in the back corner and going, all right, might as well. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to drink it, do it in front of an audience. <laughs> oh, I've got a blue point sour or blue point something that's been setting in my fridge that was a gift and it's been in there for like two years so i might have to break that out next week uh i've got that that uh blueberry sour from uh founders alex has got your name written all over yeah, it. that wander that wander law whatever it is I, I don't know what it is the one with the lizard on it yes wizard of wizard of cause yes that's it yes well, i absolutely has, no has, has dale house officially gone out of business yet or did they get yes, bought out? They have they have officially closed their doors as far as okay, I because I've got I bought two of those at Total Wine, so now I don't know if I want to save those for a while, and like see if they just like for a special jailhouse kind of salute. Rest in peace, R.I.P. Yeah, jailhouse. right. <laughs> or just just drink it and say, ah, you can never get this ever again. So <laughs> yeah. might not be a good beer to review. <laughs> Probably not. You can yes. find this. No, we're gonna review it. And we're gonna say this is the best beer I've ever had in my entire life. Right. This is this is oh, Adam oh, has a score of zero it's perfect five point five. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If you we're can't do jail. this, yeah. if you can't get this, your life is incomplete. <laughs> no, I, I'll do that with an ABC beer I got laying around somewhere. Nice. <laughs> perfect. All right. So I guess uh, good beers tonight. Uh, everybody, I hope everybody's staying safe and um, not going out and social distancing so we can get to put this stuff behind us so we can four of us can get together in a room and drink the same beer at the same time together yeah. which would be nice that's right and go back out to some of the brewers we talk about so much yeah. so but until then what do we say may the brew be, be with you cheers cheers <laughs>